Well, hello, and welcome back to the tower. So, let's look at the tournament first. 23.53, an easy first place for me. And, of course, we're going to go look at the event. I meant to close this. So, we have almost completed the event. There's just three stragglers, so we have gotten the fish. Not really useful. And we have gotten the hook. <clears throat> Neither one is very useful on their own, but, you know. Now, I am going to buy some extra stones here. Uh, do I go three? I think I go three this time. And we need to leave about 400 for the next event, which means we'll just save this. This We'll just roll that over. <clears throat> All right. So that takes care of that. Um, that's the event. That's the tournament. Here is the bonus. A lot of people ask me how I get my bonus so high. All of these things count. Themes? The themes are almost as much as my relic by now. Which is crazy. Alright. Well, we are going to work on this. Which, of course, is getting Chronofield closer and closer. So hopefully next week we can get this down, and then we just have to get some duration. And so it's coming along pretty well. <clears throat> Very happy with the progress there. I'm kind of surprised, actually, let me flip back. I'm kind of surprised at how quickly we've done this. I felt like it was going to take a lot longer, but here we are. Actually, it's going to be getting the duration and the speed reduction up that's going to take forever. But we already have 30 seconds. So let's go look at research real quick. Obviously, you can see 20, level 26 on the research. I'm going to blow through this. This is going to be done well before I even get the stones to even think about duration. Uh, yes, I am still doing lab discount and, of course, super critical, super critical multiplier. Once I get this lab discount maxed out, it's going to get a lot more interesting, but we just need to get it done. <clears throat> All right. So we are going to enhance, and we are done enhancing here. This is, a, this is a lot to ask for level skip. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm sure the level skip enhancements are, like, incredible. But with where we are right now, I'm pretty comfortable here. So we're going to switch to damage. This is what we were working on getting the super critical enhancements. So we should have enough to get that. <clears throat> and we're just going to round robin. I feel like they're all pretty equal. Okay, um, we should be able to get with this. And now we got to get super critical multiplier up. Oh, okay, we can get this up pretty easily. Okay, so we will, like, even... We'll catch this up. I don't know that we'll even this out. We might have to just have the damage. <clears throat> I don't know, but we'll at least get this to 140, so we'll kind of even these out. Oh, shoot, did I just overspend? Well, let me not spend any more, because the last thing we need to do... And, of course, we haven't done much here on defense... We will be looking at doing this to get the wall enhancements. This will be the next one we do, so we'll probably do that next video. After we get this super critical multiplier, I want to get that up to 140, and we'll leave it like that. I'm not going to try and get damage to, like, 145 or something. We'll just leave this like that. Oh. Attack speed enhance. That's going to be huger than huge. And one thing I did forget to mention is there was an update. Now, the update... I think, uh, changed a few things. Okay, now instead of an ad being offered at the end of a run to increase the coin's gain, a new button will show up mid-round where you can watch an ad and get a coin bonus for some time, and coins gain while the ad bon coin bonus is active. So I think that's a nerf to people that don't buy the ad-free version. I have the ad-free version, but I think it's a nerf to you guys. <clears throat> now you can always watch another ad at, to try another tournament, Okay, so they change it. Tournaments no longer require gems. You just have to watch ads. That's probably, again, trying to milk the free-to-play players. Um, fixed an issue where sometimes an event was having all missions as a login mission. I mean, I guess that must have been really nice. Pretty easy one to do. Fixed first entry on tournament leaderboard not correctly showing the tower skin and relic. Fixed prismatic lines background issues when restarting around with it active. Fixed nuke not resetting the recharge count on activation. 
Fix demon mode, missile barrage, second wind, nuke, recharges, counting from round start. Now they will only count after activation. Also, once fully recharged, will stop counting until it's used. Okay, that makes sense. So, I guess recharge was super powerful. Fixed galaxy compressor, also reducing demon mode. Oh, yeah, it was apparently reducing demon mode, se second wind, and super tower duration. Multiverse Nexus will now ignore disabled UW, getting the average cooldown of only active. That is a huge buff, I think, to Multiverse Nexus, because that means you could turn off Death Wave. And if you turned off Death Wave, then you basically would just be running Golden Tower, and that, I guess, that's, I don't know, maybe it's not as good as it sounds. Sounds good on paper. Maybe it's only good if you're just starting. I don't know. Fixed common module drop chance, having a little lower real chance than stated. Okay, so you get a buff to common. That's good. Waves and skip now should give you elite cells of a text and elite would have spawned. And oh, that makes wave skip even better. Wave skip now will try to give free ups on skipped waves. Okay, another buff to wave skip. Fixed wave skip and golden combo float text info overlap. Also golden combo info will now show a yellow color to help distinguish it. Increased wave skip, golden combo, health attack skip, and free up floating text by one second. So you have more time to read. Fixed elite chance going back to 0%. Oh, so people could actually roll elite chance all the way back to 0. That's crazy. More orbs should reduce orb speed less now. So buff to orbs. Scatter children should now correctly spawn, even with lots of enemies already on the screen. Added a confirmation panel when unlocking new labs or new card slots. Increase the max player username to 20 characters. You can no longer change your username or avatar when participating in a tournament or offline. So, <clears throat> again, I'm more curious about how this is going to work out for the people who have the ad. Everything else, these are all minor fixes for the most part. Hey, we get elite cells on skip, so I'll be getting more cells, so that'll be nice. Nothing else. But the reality is, I've unlocked all the card slots. I've unlocked all the cards. There's only one thing left. And that's to gamble on modules, so let's get gambling. And a dead, dead hand. Another dead hand. Another dead hand. Wow, all commons, look at me go. Okay, what did, what did we get? We got being Ignihilator, okay. Um, not really. All right, another dead hand. Oh, what's this? Is GC? We got another GC and a dead hand and a wormhole redirector. That one's actually really good if you go regen, from what I've heard. And another wormhole and another worm. Three in a row for wormhole redirector. Okay, is it is the game and havoc bringer? Are you kidding? Another havoc bringer. And a dead hand, and we got three draws left. We got a common, a rare, and another rare. All right, so let's merge. Oh, uh, okay, so we have two. I guess we got two. Oh, look at that. We're going to level up the Havoc Bringer again. How about that? And we're going to level up. Oh, and we're going to level being. Okay, so. Yeah, and I guess we're going to. I guess we got enough to get two wormhole redirectors, so that's something. All right, let's see. Yep, we now can get a legendary plus wormhole redirector. All right, so this means we have some merging to do for the cannons. So this guy. This guy is three star. How did this happen? How do I have a three star Havoc Bringer? That's crazy. All right, what? Uh, okay, I need any legendary plus. So, if I remember right, we take this, which is just a regular Omni Booster, and we can take any of these two rares. So, we have a bunch of this. So, actually, we don't have any of these. No, we don't. Okay, so we don't want to use that one. I think it has to be two of the same. So, we'll take one of those, and we'll take a, get rid of that guy. And we'll get rid of, I guess, this guy. And we're going to Legendary uh, Rapid Reach. And these are all not special. And I get made fun of all the time for not being able to tell them apart. And I'm, thank you for making fun of my disability. And then we take this Legendary. 
and it yet only merges with one of its own type and we make it legendary flops. And then we take, this is our being annihilator, and we take that and we merge it with this random legendary that's not anything special and we confirm and we have a mythic being annihilator. So that's something. And does, do we have anything? Oh wait, we need to make another legendary plus to, okay, we need another legendary plus. That's fine, I've been saving up for just this event. So we can do this, and let's make sure, nothing special, nothing special, nothing special, confirm. We got another rapid reach, nothing special, merges with another rapid reach, which is nothing special. We confirm that merge. <coughs> Then we take the being annihilator and confirm that merge with a rapid reach. I'm getting, I'm getting better at this finally. And now we have the mythic plus, and then we take the mythic plus and we do not have any being annihilators left over. So that is merged to max. So now that means I think, okay, no. Excuse me. So, okay, we don't have anything for death penalty. I thought we had something else in here to merge. Actually, let me flip this off because <clears throat> I do need a favorite these. Uh, where's the favorite? It makes it easier. Is it being annihilator? This is a it's a havoc bringer, and this is my death penalty. So death penalty, we haven't found anything for him. He just kind of hangs out. So we have the four and the minimum at legendary. Everything else is just fodder for those. It's fine. All right, moving on to the armor. I have to see if there's any merging I need to do here because it has been a while. So we have this. Okay, negative mass projectors that getting merged. Uh, no, we can't just merge anti-cube with our that. So, okay, so we do need to make some... No, don't do that. Oh, my goodness, don't do that. Da, 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 da. Okay. <clears throat> so we actually have another wormhole redirector okay well, this this is just chaos okay so let's see who do we have a lot of we have a ton of these guys so that's going to be what we're using all right let's get rid of the two keys and let's make sure nobody's special not special not special and of course not special okay so now we have a legendary nano intercept so then we're going to take the Nano intercept, merge it with another, make it legendary plus. And then we can take this. And this is where it gets dangerous, but this will go with that. <clears throat> and now we have an anti cube, a better anti cube. And now we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to take this, which is just a regular, <clears throat> a regular nano intercept. We'll merge it with two of those. And then we will confirm it. And then we will take a nano intercept and merge it with a nano intercept to make a legendary plus nano intercept. And then we will take that plus this, which is nothing special. And we merge those two together. And now we have a mythic wormhole redirector. Okay, and we need to favorite these. All right, I, I, all right. Let me let me um, switch out of this. Favorite. Favorite. Oh, and favorite this guy, too. The negative mass projector. Okay, so now we can go back to merging. And now we do have the worm, so we, we can... Uh, I think these guys, yes, they both need another one, so that's fine. So, again, we'll come down here. Take that one, which is... This is nothing special. We will merge it with the keyhole, which, again, nothing special. And this guy. So, nothing special. Plus nothing special plus nothing special, merges to legendary, then this merges with that to make another legendary plus, and then that merges with this to make another another ancestral plus, mythic plus, mythal, mythic plus, what am I thinking? And then same thing, we take this guy, and this guy's a nobody, and we merge him with that guy, which is also a nobody, and this guy, which is also a nobody, and we merge them again. And then we take this guy and merge it with that guy, who's nobody plus nobody equals nobody. 
And then we take the Nano Intercept and merge it with this. And we get the Mythic Plus Wormhole Redirector. So now we have an Anti-Cube we can't do anything with. We have a Wormhole. We're halfway to an Ancestor Wormhole. And we have a, the, a negative mass we can't do anything with. So we're done with this one. Okay, to the generators. So again, we need to just go to inventory first and let's favorite everybody. Makes it a little bit easier. Okay. And that is an extra of this. Okay, we're going to see if we can merge here. All right, so you. Okay, you need two. You only have one. That's fine. You need, okay, we need Legos. And you need two, and we don't have any. And you need... <clears throat> Wait, so this is a black hole. This is a pulsar. And that's a singularity. I thought I got a galaxy compressor. That's why I'm confused. Was it only a galaxy compressor? Okay, they're down here. So we have these guys down here just floating. Okay. Okay, so... Okay, what do you need? Okay, you're done too. What do you need? Okay, you need a legendary. Okay, so let's look at what we have for that we can... Wait, what's this? That is a singularity harness. Oh, okay, that's that. Okay, yeah. So who do we have a lot of here? We have a lot of the stellar elevators, one of the last ones here, so we're going to take that. And are you a nobody? You are an antimatter reactor, and you are a nobody... And you are an antimatter reactor, and you are a nobody. So we merge you two. We get a stellar lift that's legendary, which is a nobody. We take the stellar lift to merge it with another stellar lift to make a legendary nobody. We take that with, not you, with you. We take this. Okay, so now see it's a lock. That's helpful. Which is a nobody, and we now merge you and you, and now we have a mythic pulsar harvester. The Mythic Pulsar Harvester also needs to eat another Legendary, so that's fine. We will go with Stellar Lift. That's an Antimatter Projector. We will merge with you, and that is that, which is also garbage. And then we take this Stellar Lift, and we merge it again with this Stellar Lift. And now we have a Legendary Stellar Lift. And then we merge it with this, and then we merge it with this, which is a Nothing Stellar Lift. And we get it. And now we have a Pulsar Harvester. You know, I am going to... Uh, favorite, even though we will eventually merge this, I am, no, 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 no. I am just going to, I have to switch to inventory. I'm going to mark you as favorite until we need you. <clears throat> While we're doing all this merging. Okay, so now this guy, okay, this guy, okay. This guy has that one, and we can unfavorite when we need to merge it. And we have this one left, so we need to make two more. Okay, so we go to Stellar Lift. And now we can't accidentally pick the one that's good. So we have a Stellar Lift, which is nothing. We have a Solar Dyson Sphere, which is nothing. We have another Solar Dyson Sphere, which is nothing. And we merge these together to get a Stellar Lift. And then we take the Stellar Lift that is a nobody. We merge it with another Stellar Lift that is a nobody. And then we create a, a big Stellar Lift that's Legendary Plus. And we merge that with that, which is a nobody. And we confirm the merge. And then we have a Mythic Black Hole Digester. Then we have to do this again. So we take another Stellar Lift. We merge it with another Solar Dyson Sphere. And we merge it with another Solar Dyson Sphere. And then we create another Stellar Lift. And then we take this, and we merge it with this, and we verify everybody's a nobody, and we merge it again. Now we have a Legendary plus Stellar Lift. And then we take this guy plus this, which is a nobody, and we merge it again, and we confirm the merge. And then we have a black hole, so now we have, everybody is, is a Mythic Plus now. We have a Mythic Plus everybody here. Nice. We are on our way to an Ancestral Singularity Harness, but I'll be honest, I don't think we would ever use it. It's actually the worst one, imagine that. Okay, and so we have a Galaxy Compressor. Okay, now for the last one, which is the core. So we're going to first go to inventory. This is a Harmony Conductor. It is a favorite. This is a Multiverse Nexus. It is a favorite. This is an Ohm chip. Even though it's not really useful anymore, we're still going to favorite it. This is another Harmony Conductor. We're going to favorite it. 
I don't believe that anything else. Wait, what's this? That is an ohm chip. We're going to favorite it. What's this? Oh, that is a dimension core. We're going to favorite. This is a galactic librarian. That is nothing. That is a chronosync. That is epic plus. That's nothing. All right. <clears throat> so do we need to merge anybody? Okay, so let's go through. Do you? You cannot. You have nobody to consume. You have nobody to consume. You need to consume. So we have to get the multiverse nexus up. <coughs> All right, the only one is the multiverse nexus. So let's go do this again. So this is a matrix sim. Okay, I have the most of whatever these are, the Eon Mines. All right, let's go with them. So an Eon Mind is going to consume a galactic librarian and a galactic librarian that are both nothing. Then the Eon Mind, which is nobody, will consume another Eon Mind, which is also nobody. And that becomes a, a bigger nobody. Then we take this bigger nobody, and we consume this guy, who's a nobody. Well, we take the multiverse nexus, and we consume this, who's a nobody, and then we confirm it, and now we have a mythic multiverse nexus. <clears throat> oh, mythic got buffed. Okay, well, that's nice. It's now only plus one. It used to be plus ten, I think. So I guess one of the side effects is they buffed multiverse nexus, which is fair. I think it deserved. So then we take another... Wait, that's Chronosync. Do I have more Chronosyncs than Eons? Wait, what's, what's the Eon look like? It's a Galactic Librarian. Oh, so I have, I have more Chronosyncs than anything. Okay, so we're going to take a Chronosync. I mean, it's fine. And then this is a nothing with the Matrix Sim. Wait, I have... I only have one Galactic Librarian. I'm going to consume that. And I and I'll guess I'll do a Matrix Sim just because it's in the front. All right, so Matrix Sims, Sim is a nobody. Galactic Librarian is a nobody. And the Chronosync is a nobody. And then we're going to merge all those. And now we have a legendary Chronosync. And then Chronosync plus Chronosync, which is a nobody, makes a legendary plus Chronosync. And then... The multiverse nexus plus this becomes a ancestral multiverse nexus, an ancestral plus, and now we're done. There's no other merging we need to do. We don't have another ohm chip. To... I guess I got lucky that ohm chip ended up falling behind. Yep, we did. So okay, so for the modules, I think I'm done. Oh my goodness! All right now, we just need to level them up, and I am kind of close on money. I might just level them. I mean, it's not really that big a deal. Get the important ones up. Fourteen. Am I gonna have? I'm gonna be short here. Yeah, I will be short. I will just get this extra level. It's not a huge thing. And I did get the six percent defense. I re I did read the comment on this. The number one thing for me to get was the defense here. So I do need to try and get Ancestral Defense and Landmine Chance. I don't need to worry about Orb Speed. I forget what the other thing was. There was another thing. I'll have to look at the comment again. I'm not re-rolling right now. I honestly, I hate re-rolling. I hate re-rolling Ancestral. It's terrible. So, yeah, we'll just leave it like that. I do at least have 1.6 million re-rolls saved up, so I have that banked. So that's good. And I actually have a little bit more inventory space because I was worried about running out. I sincerely was because it was that close. You know, we're going to check something. Oh, it's not going to do it. Okay. I was going to see if I could get a bob real quick. And here's the new screen where they tell you the ad coins. But like I said, I always have the ad bonus, so it doesn't really affect me. It might affect you. So... Uh, a relatively minor update. Like I said, I think it's a nerf for people who don't have the ad-free version. If it is, please let me know. Because I don't know. I can't test it. I only know what I know, which is what I see here. And, of course, we're going to save this 600 If we don't get a new theme next week, uh, obviously we'll purchase the range. So we'll have to see how that rolls out. And, of course, we are slowly but surely, slowly but surely working on Chronosync. So I'm anticipating next week that we will be able to get this last one. 
and then we will have a 53 second cooldown, and then we will start working on duration. And we're going to see that now technically I would only need to get the duration to 53 seconds. And since I have 25 of research, that would be fine to keep researching. Um, we're going to have to see how that plays out. I don't know how it's going to play out, to be honest with you. I don't, I, I, I'm, a, I'm optimistic we can get the cooldown reduction. That shouldn't be a big deal. We will see. We are also going to have a new, um, We'll have a new event. So absolute worst case scenario is I can I can buy some from I bought forty five ultimate weapon stones, so I can buy some more there. We'll have to see. But that's kind of where I'm at. And yeah, I did overspend a little bit there. It's not a big deal. It's gonna become less and less of a problem as things get more and more expensive. And of course, like I said, we're gonna get this last super crit, and then we're gonna work on this. And then we'll see about what the wall enhancements are, and we'll see how those go. I don't know, should I, I guess I should grab some health regen once we start really hitting the defense here. I'm assuming that's what you're going to tell me in the comments. But we'll deal with that when we get there. Let, let's, let's, let's kind of leave it a surprise. Uh, let's not spoil everything. And yes, I have a long way to go on my lab coin discount research. I know, you don't want me to do it. I'm doing it anyways. It's, it's just, I just want to have this max, because with a max left, because let's say there's a research out there that becomes one quintillion coins. Well, now the, the discount's going to matter. So the sooner I just max the discount out, the, you know, the, the sooner I can just spend. And obviously, I have a lot of Triforces saved up. We're going to burn them. We're going to be burning them soon. We're gonna, probably going to burn them when this is over. I've been doing 333 because I can't quite triple three labs. So we'll have to see how that plays out. I might, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll triple, maybe I'll do four triples. I might have enough. I have a very difficult time judging how to spend these because sometimes I, one time I tripled, 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 tripled and didn't have enough to double and that was a big mistake. That was a huge mistake. Very, very bad mistake. Uh, but we'll see. But yeah. So all that said, once again... As always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to say something in the comments. I do always look forward to your questions. And as always, thank you again, and I hope you have a great day.